probably more humorous situations in having cancer than there is not. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, as strange as that may sound. But having a positive attitude definitely goes a long way when you're dealing with cancer. Take any resource you can, like, that can help you. It definitely does help in the long run. I, that's what I tell people a lot. I say, don't change. I want to live. If I'm, if I'm going to die, then I don't want to, like, spend my life like I'm going to die, you know? And if I have cancer and I'm not going to, then I'm not going to. So don't act like it, you know? Just to be happy with what you have is enough to let you get through the day, you know, just to... Especially after going through all this, you gotta just learn to say, well, this is what I have to work with right now. Let me do the best with what I have. Take it slow. Um, what I did is I just took information as it came to me. Um, I imagine that'll be the case with most people. Uh, don't let anything overwhelm you. Take, take what people can give you. Um, and don't try to be too tough about it. Um, I mean, be tough, but uh, don't be um, close to other people's help. Uh, allow people to give what they can. I think the most important message is that, one, you're not alone. I mean, there's other people that are going through that, and you feel like, oh, I can't you know, take any more, but there's other people that feel like that. Um, and, you know, it'll be over. You know, you need other, I think you need to occupy your time and, you know, try to get your mind off of it. Scream, cry, yell, do what you need to do, and don't feel bad about it.